I'm Pauline from Pusaka. Pusaka is an organization dedicated to the study and documentation of cultural traditions in Malaysia. We are primarily focused on the Malay performing arts traditions of the whole country. Today I want to speak to you about the Mak Yong tradition of Kelantan. The Mak Yong is one of the most ancient and one of the deepest dance drama traditions in Kelantan and in the whole of Malaysia. In 2005, UNESCO recognized the Mak Yong tradition as one of the masterpieces of oral and intangible heritage of humanity. The Mak Yong tradition is rooted in the Kelantan Patani mythology, which goes back at least 800 years. It is one of the most ancient and one of the richest um, traditions of Kelantan and is distinctive. Much of the Kelantan Patani mythology is female-centered, meaning that women take a very, very dominant role in both the mythology and also the community. Um, in the Mak Yong tradition, you will find that most of the performers are women. And traditionally, all of the main roles were performed by women, except for the jester roles, which are usually performed by men. The Mak Yong is based on 12 traditional stories. They're called Treat the Treat the Mak Yong, um, the most important of which are the Dewa Muda, the Dewa Puchil, and the Anat Raja Gondang. These stories are distinctive to Klantan Patani region, and unlike many of the other Malay performing arts traditions, they have not come from the outside, so meaning they have not traveled from Java or Sumatra or elsewhere. They are really distinctive to um, the Malay Peninsula and specifically to Klantan Patani. Um, another interesting aspect of the Mak Yong tradition is that it involves a lot of healing. In the Klantanese worldview, um, a human being is made up of many different elements, but one of the most important of which is something called angin. Angin in the Malay worldview, the literal translation is wind. Um, in the Kelantanese tradition, it is understood to relate to the temperament and the mood and the innate character of an individual. You will find that in the Kelantanese worldview, they speak about angin mak yong or angin wayang kulit. And more specifically, they even speak about angin that is related to some of the stories of the mak yong. So you will find people who have Angin Dewa Muda or Angin Dewa Puchil. Um, these are the main two stories which form a kind of archetype of character. Um, in a healing tradition, they will perform the specific story and they will ask the patient to participate in that story even if they are not part of the Mak Yong tradition. Um, this is one of the interesting elements about Mak Yong and you find this throughout Kelantan. Um, it has to do with Restoring the well-being of an individual, bringing them back um, to their sense of self, or jati diri. Pusaka will be presenting a Mak Yong performance on the 24th of August at the Black Box at Publica. Um, this will be performed by the Kumpulan Mak Yong Chimpaka Vilis. They are a very, very authentic group, and they are, it's performed by generations. Um, the performers are at least maybe eight or nine generations of Mak Yong performers. Um, the main performers are actually the granddaughters of the legendary Mak Yong prima donna, Chet Ning, um, and they will be performing the story of Dewa Pachil, which is a tragic tale. Um, and so I hope you all can join us for the 24th. <laughs>